Hello everyone, it's Sky, and today I'm going to be doing a video about my teacher's book. So my teacher, my English teacher this year, Mr. Nappy, is actually an author. He's written a few books and three of them are in a series. And the title of this video is The Legend of Mickey Tussler Book Review. So that's his first book of his uh, trilogy about this boy named Mickey Tussler. And we read it in class and I decided to do a review of it because I wanted to dedicate that to him. Also, so in case you don't know, April is actually Autism and Asperger's Syndrome Awareness Month. And as that comes to a close, I would like to make it a known fact that just because the month of awareness ends doesn't mean that the awareness itself should end and so I'd like to upload this video now because the main character Mickey Tussler is just a regular boy except he has Asperger's syndrome he's high functioning and he's a really lovely character so I decided to do this to kind of honor him and honor my teacher so Mr. Nappy this is for you so the book may seem like a baseball book, but it's actually not. It's really a story having to do with character development and it's it's really much bigger than baseball. So the first character that you meet is Arthur Murphy, everyone just calls him Murph. And in the beginning he's going to go recruit people, basically, for the team for the new season. And his car breaks down and he ends up finding the Tussler farm and he sees Mickey doing something, which I won't spoil because it's really interesting actually, and he realizes he has a really good pitching arm. He ends up being on the team. It's a pretty known fact considering that there are, are three books. So this is a book that's actually set in the 1940s. Back then no one really knew about Asperger's or about autism, so they just thought that those people were different and that they were just dumb, and they're not. They're really smart, especially Mickey. He's really, really good with numbers and he loves counting things and keeping track of things and it's something that not many people are good at, but he knows that he is and he always has been. So there are a few characters that you learn to love, like his mother Molly and Murph himself, and there are a few characters that you learn to hate because he writes them so well. Thank you, Nappy, because I love hating characters sometimes. There's someone on the team who you are afraid of half the time. There's uh, Murphy's boss is terrifying sometimes. I'm not a very big sports person, but I read the book and I loved it. I thought it was like just so well written and it may sound like I have a very biased opinion because my teacher wrote it but there are a few bits and pieces of the book that I didn't like yeah. and certain characters that got on my nerves but it was always relative to the story so I couldn't really get mad at my teacher. I would recommend this to pretty much anyone Although there are certain parts that I wouldn't really let like a seven-year-old read, but I just wanted to let everyone know that this book is really, really amazing. My teacher is awesome because he wrote a book. Like, oh my god. If you'd like to get it at Barnes & Noble or any other bookstore that's near you, they are available anywhere. He does sell them. So another thing that you can actually get if you go to one of his book readings is you can get the t-shirt that I'm wearing right now. So this is the front of the shirt. It says legend because it's the legend of Mickey Tussler and it's got a little baseball glove and then within the glove is a ball and the ball has these puzzle pieces all over it because the puzzle piece is the autism speaks little symbol sort of thing. I'll pan back up so you can see my face again. Hi, how are you? And the back actually has Tussler with an eight because his name is Mickey Tussler and his number is eight. If you ever wanted to bring it up to other teachers that you guys have, maybe if you wanted to read it in your English class, I would say go for it because it's really, really intellectually a great book to read. Go read the book. It's really, really great. It makes you really happy. I hope you guys like this. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Mr. Nappy, I hope you like this. Uh, I hope I, I have made you proud. And please don't be afraid to ask me any questions if you have any. Uh, if you have any for my teacher that I could ask him, I would love to be able to do that for you. All my links are in the description and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!